Good morning, everyone. It is another magical day on board the Disney Fantasy. Today, Dave and I are looking out on Tortola. Neither of us have either been here before. It looks like a beautiful place, Brit uh, you, uh, British Virgin Islands. We're gonna take a look out there, probably walk out there for a few minutes, but our priority today is to go to the Rainforest Room in the Census Spa and Salon, a place that Dave and I truly love Cannot wait to get back to it. It's going to be a spectacular day. Take a look at those matching castaway key tank tops right there. Perfect for a Tortola day, especially because the rainforest room. And then tonight is going to be extra special. It's the Pirate Night celebration aboard the Disney Fantasy. Take a look at breakfast from Cabanas this morning. We've got strawberry yogurt, sausage, bacon, hash browns, uh, maybe ham and cheese omelet, banana pancake, more hash browns, Mickey waffle, and the croissant. Looks unbelievably amazing. Let's dig in. All the food is really good from Cabanas, as you would imagine. It's delicious, but the views. There's not as much to do here right by the port in Tortola, except for the excursions, which Dave and I are not doing today. We're doing Rainforest Room, but these views are unlike, I don't think ever, I've ever seen before. Kind of like a mountainous right there, and you have the ocean right here, more mountains back there, and the water, islands all around. Beautiful, beautiful place. Maybe just made a very interesting expression when he tried that uh, mango yogurt. Try the strawberry. Pretty good. I mean, you you might like it a lot. I, I like it, it's okay. David likes it a lot. Maybe I gotta try the mango one. Yeah, strawberry's okay. Look at the Remy artwork as we're making our way up to deck 12. That is so, so nice. Would you just take a look at some of those views? Crystal clear blue water, amazing. Like mountains out there with the ocean all around us. This is unreal. I mean, it is amazing to see Tortola. I can't tell you how much I like this view. Just the view. Haven't stepped off board. I love the view. As David and I are sitting out here looking at the beautiful views of Tortola, I asked David, do you want to get off the ship and just do a little bit of walking around? And we took a look off the edge of the ship and we see that there's actually not too much to do right outside. And we spoke to a cast member who said the same thing. So David, you think you want to stay on board? We can stay on board, yes. You can see during a port day it is far less crowded all around the ship, including here by the pool. First thing in the morning on a port day, take a look at the adult quiet cove pool, not that crowded. Not surprised, very happy about that. Back in our stateroom, time to change into swim attire for the rainforest room and the GoPro. David, are you tired? A little bit. <laughs> we're, both, we're both exhausted beyond words. Not because we're not having fun. Please do not think we're not having fun. We're having the best time ever. The issue is we've been running around, having a great time, staying up late, getting up early. So today is the perfect rainforest room day. Time to relax. David and I will be experiencing all of the fantasies of rainforest run to the fullest. David and I can already feel the effects of the rainforest room as we're sitting here. It is super relaxing, feeling some energy coming back, but definitely going to take a couple hours in here to uh, really soak it all up. The views though here with the newer ships, the dream and the fantasy, that's what makes the rainforest room worth it in my opinion. You know, you know my feelings already about the magic and the wonder rainforest room. Not really worth it just because you're almost kind of just totally inside. There's no view at all. This, this is worth it. Right there. Especially on a uh, port day, it's, it's empty in here. There's no one in here, and you know we have these unbelievable views. How could you ask for more? It's amazing. Very kind of a, a warm, but not too hot. In your robe feels amazing. What I just noticed is that on the ceiling right there, take a look at this. You can see stars right there, kind of with the blue sky. And you kind of look down here, and you've got the real Tortola sky right out there. So it's it's almost infinity, blue to blue, wow. One thing that I love about the rainforest room are the lack of crowds, and this is not what it looks like every single day. This is only because we're at port today. If, if we were at sea today, it would be at least more crowded. I'm not sure how much more crowded, but we know it would be more crowded. So if you're looking for days like this, where you can be by yourself, enjoying the fantasy or the dream or any of the ships that are coming in the future, just to yourself, try port days just adds so much to just enjoy it 
The alarm is about to go off. I'm interested to hear how loud it is here in the rainforest room. If I had to bet, it's going to be nice and quiet. I was wrong. That does make sense because if it was a real emergency, we would want the alarm to sound in here, just in case, just in case. I'm glad it sounded. It's for very important reasons, but now, now back to relaxing. I think the warmest shower is to start with. Uh, the warmest is probably tropical fun. Tropical weather. So it's uh, it's too cold. <laughs> it's too cold. <laughs> I can't say it, it's too cold. Warm. We got warm rain. Ooh, I like that. Warm rain is not warm rain, it's hot rain. And I love it. They are all fantastic. Inside rainforest. They're all great. Really, really hot showers. You know the hottest one? Rainforest by far. David and I are now headed into the lack on Nomium, the, the sauna, we're providing this one. Ooh, I love that. It's like a dry heat, humidity. <sighs> Deep breaths can really help everything. You really, oh, and look at this view. Come on, come on, look at this view. I can't get over it. And there's one of our, uh, our lifeboats right there for the drill. They're practicing just in the event of an emergency. Mm -hmm. We know they're ready. Laconium is really nice, that hot, dry, air, humid, so nice, like a sauna, now it's, uh, Caldarium time. Here goes David. That was definitely a more intense heat. Very humid, can't stand there for more than maybe three minutes myself. It's just way too intense. Um, this dry one here, the sun is very nice as well. Now time for the last one, Hamam. Oh my gosh. Oh. How hot is that? Oh. Come on. Thank you for warning me. Don't sit down. That is in my opinion, way too intense. I couldn't last more than 60 seconds. The heat inside Hamam is just way overpowering for me. David and I each have our own hot tubs here. I have mine here, David has his right over there. Personal hot tubs with views like this. I feel like a brand new man. I gotta tell you, just because the rainforest room just kind of rejuvenates me. It's something strange about it. It's so relaxing, so tranquil. Rejuvenating, that's the word. John just so rejuvenated. David feels the same way. I do not want to forget this feeling because every time I'm on a dream or fantasy, I personally will be getting the one day or more rainforest room package. It's that good. I'm serious, that good. You can see the clouds, those dark spots on the island. Those are clouds above us. We're just watching them go by, sitting here. Enjoying it. After spending some amazing time here in the rainforest around the time, it's almost 12 o'clock, the aqueduct is just about to open. So David and I are gonna head that way now. And then depending on how we feel after the aqueduct, we will maybe get lunch or maybe come back here, depending. But definitely more rainforest from the time to come. Here they go. Whoa, looks off up. David and I are gonna go separately this time because we went together last time. That way we feel good. on the aqueduct with some amazing views. Dave, what'd you think? Great, uh, great. Amazing, hot ground, hot ground, hot ground, hot ground, hot ground, hot ground. Ah, oh, much better. Oh my gosh, that's that's intense. After some amazing relaxation time here at Senses Spa, Dave and I are now gonna return our wristbands, and our plan is to see The Lion King, the brand new movie that just came out. 
we haven't had a chance to see yet on board, it's the perfect time to do it. Back in the room, changed, showered, and ready for the movie. It starts in just about 18 minutes, so we're gonna go upstairs, grab some food real quick, and then go see it. We made it to the Buena Vista Theater and take a look at our lunch here. We've got chicken nuggets, spicy chicken sandwich, pizza, fries, it looks delicious. It's going to be a spectacular movie in the Buena Vista Theater as we eat. Just finished the Lion King. It was good. I wouldn't call it great. Somehow, you know, it was, it was good. It just didn't, I guess it wasn't like inspiring show. You already knew what was going to happen. I liked the, the effects and Scar and Simba and the voices were great, but it was good. What did you think, Dave? I thought it was a great movie. I liked it a lot. Definitely like how they made the movie with the effects and that sort of thing. 3D, maybe I would see it in 2D. <laughs> it was a little bit tough. I miss theater, but I like the movie a lot. Agreed, the 3D gave me a headache. It really, really did. I, I, I forgot about that, so 2D movies from now on. Peter Pan and Stitch is meeting on the balcony. Want to meet Pirate Stitch? Sure. Should we change into our pirate we outfits? Too? All right, we're gonna change to pirate outfits and then meet some characters. Steve and I have changed into pirate attire. Time to get those pirate photos with the pirate-themed characters like Stitch and Captain Hook. Ah, Pirate Night, one of my favorite nights of old where everyone dresses up in costume and says, Arg. Stitch, how are you? Good to see you. We are ready. To we're the last ones to meet you today. I know, you know, we're lucky. We are fortunate to do this. Yes, we are. We're, we're going to battle those pirates. Yeah. <laughs> you're ready, I can tell. Yep, you're ready to see our friends. You are ready. All right, let's go. We've we got to practice our swashbuckling skills, Stitch. Swashbuckling, swashbuckling. You got it. We have, we have practice. We're, we're ready for it. I'm ready. Gotta love that photo with Stitch. Now we're going to decide. Maybe we're going to see Captain Hook or Chippendale. Still deciding. David has made the decision. David, where are we going? The grab tea. And then? Chippendale. Chippendale in their pirate outfits. Good to see you again. Hey, oh, you know, you're looking good, Chip. Wait, you gotta get Dale in the picture, too. Both Chippendale, both of you guys. Both Chipmunks. See, there's enough room for all the Chipmunks in here. All of them. Yeah, we're looking good. We're ready for We're ready for pirate night. Better uh, sword fighting, though. Dale, Dale's gonna, no, Chip's gonna do it. No, Dale's, no, 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 Chip's, okay, all right. Both of you, bo both e equal sword fighting. Equal sword fighting. I can see it. I can see it happening. I can't. Love that meet and greet with them. They're the best. They're, yes. they're the best meet and greet by far. I don't consider this spoiling my dinner because it's just a little dessert. This is a small one. Got some tea in hand. Now we're going to go back down to deck three and probably take some pictures with some of those special pirate backgrounds. <laughs> Gotta say, great balancing work by David. Th those shots, I, those shots turn out so well like that. Oh my God. Ah, Stitch, how are you? Or excuse me, Donald. Oh my God. I'm, I'm, we were just talking. I'm sorry. Donald, I'm sorry. We were talking about Stitch. No, 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 it's okay, it's all good, it's all good. We were talking about Stitch, and so I said, oh, I, I'm sorry, it was bad. Donald, I'm, I'm redoing it, good to see you, Donald. Okay, we're walking back, good to see you, Donald, there you go. My number one duck right here, number one, that's what I'm talking about. Pirate, that, that's, you're right about that. After a great picture with some great characters and backgrounds, where we might get that white background photo right now, maybe, or we'll go see the, um, I think it's Magic, or Magic or other stage show happening, the Walt Disney Theater, I can't remember. Physical comedy, maybe? Physical comedy. One of those new uh, comedians. It'll be good. We'll, uh, we're deciding as we go. Yeah, okay. You're good. Thank you, Christopher. Very talented photographer here. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Officially leaving Tortola. It has been fun. See you later, British Virgin Islands. We will definitely be seeing you again soon. Going into the Walt Disney Theater now, we'll let you know how we like the physical comedy of, I think it's Mark Nazir. Just saw Mark Nazir's physical comedy. It was good. I did enjoy it. I've seen better shows at sea before uh, in the past, though, so. It was, it was good, not the best. Dave, what'd you think? Agreed, it was a good show. It wasn't my number one favorite show of all time. It was pretty funny, but uh, you know, if, if you're looking for something to do, that might be a good one. Yeah. But if there's other stuff on your agenda, maybe check those out too. Agreed. Two minutes to go before Mickey's Pirates in the Caribbean deck party, where we're gonna see characters right on stage up there. The fireworks are after dinner. We learn that later on, so this is just a stage show for now. Before the show even began, I like the fact that the cast member encouraged everyone in this area here to sit down so we're all seated so we can all get a great view of the show. Disney, thank you for doing that. That really adds so much because no matter where you're sitting, you can see the characters. Yes. Keep adventure E.B. Wanton and together and welcome to the most adventurous swashbucklers ever to sail the seven seas.
One dilemma of the elevators on board. After a big show, big uh, spectacular where a lot of people are there, the elevators get full very, very quickly. So you spend a lot of time just waiting and waiting and waiting for full elevators. So walking is usually faster um, after a big show like that. Dave and I have made it down to deck three for Animator's Palette for dinner tonight. Our plan is to have a relatively light dinner because we do want to save some, some of our appetite for the buffet, the pirate buffet that I have yet to try and really want to. That is a super long line waiting for dinner right now. We'll get there. Hi, Renai. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. Just saw our server out. Shane told us that we're going to love the pirate buffet, so we got to save room for it. Might try a few appetizers, maybe an entree, just a little taste of it, and then we'll uh, keep, keep some room for that buffet. I really want to try it. Something super cool about Pirate Night, I don't know if you noticed, take a look at the artwork right over there. It's like early drawings from Pirates of the Caribbean, and it changes throughout the night. I love being an animator's palette for Pirate Night. It's so cool because they, they immerse you completely. Recommendations from Al Shang, he recommended the crab cake, definitely going to get that, the carrot and cilantro soup, and the jerk chicken. Probably going to go with his recommendation and not overdo it. He continues to reiterate how important it is to get to that buffet, so that's the plan. Take a look at the crab cake right here as an appetizer for Pirate Night at Animator's Palette. And David's got the samosa right there. It looks delicious. Let's give him a try. Took a bite of the crab cake. It's okay, but not even close to the crab cake that you get from Food & Wine. Not even, no, not even close. David, how's the samosa? The samosa is pretty good. It's not the best samosa I've ever had. But if you like samosas, it's worth a shot. I, I haven't been blown away by too much from the pirate dinner. So that being said, this may be one of the better appetizers. I've got the carrot and cilantro soup. I remember loving this one. David's got the chilled mango soup right there. I remember I didn't like that one too much. Let's uh, try that carrot. This is hilarious. I have the carrot soup and cilantro soup, and I love it. I'm shaking my head really good. David, how's your mango chilled soup? Delicious. Delicious. He loves it. Now, when we switch them, and I tried David's mango, he tried my carrot. It turned into a no. So, very specific taste, very specific flavors. I would recommend trying them. Give them a try, see what you like. Main course tonight is the jerk chicken for me. Looks delicious, smells super good, and David's got the falafel over there. He's giving you a try from the vegetarian menu. Excited to hear how that is. Tried that jerk chicken. It is not that good. It's dry chicken. It got a very subtle taste to it. Don't love it. David's falafel, what do you think? It's okay. You know, I, I would not go out of my way for it. Don't bet on me getting it again. So we're not going to fill up on this. We're going to instead save as much of our appetite as is reasonable for the buffet tonight after the fireworks. Oh my gosh, so excited about that. For dessert, Dave and I both have the caramel macadamia nut cheesecake tart. Looks delicious. I remember this one being especially good. Let's give it a try. I've tasted this one before, the caramel macadamia nut cheesecake tart. I remember it being so much better. And I, I'm looking at Dave and I, I wish that maybe we'd try something else. I, I, uh, that's disappointing. That's disappointing. I know how much better it can be. It can be so much better than that. Somehow, on this voyage, it seems like things aren't cooked quite to the level that I've seen in the past and what I've expected 
from Disney Cruise Line. Maybe it's just a fluke, maybe something small. It's not that big of a deal, but as a you know, pretty frequent cruiser, I definitely can feel the difference and taste the difference. Not nearly as good as the last time I had it. Overall dinner at Animator's Palette, sorry to say, was a bit disappointing, just because I know the food. I know that cheesecake, like the back of my hand, I've had it so many times, and it did not meet my expectations. The jerk chicken was dry, it, it didn't quite get it. And Dave and I were just talking about how Throughout the trip on the Fantasy so far, we have been loving the cruise. Don't let it take away from the experience on the Fantasy. Amazing ship, gonna be back on the Fantasy for sure. The food quality is definitely lacking. It's, it's extremely noticeable, both for David and myself. So, just something to consider. I have a feeling it's probably just a fluke, maybe just a, a slight change in the, in the people in the back. Maybe it's a, a training in progress. I don't know what it is. It's just not to the level that I know the Disney Cruise Line can be when it comes to food. And I know that food on board the Disney Fantasy it can be great. We went to Enchanted Gardens and were enchanted by every piece of food that we tried. So I know it can be great. It can be. The question is, why is it missing more than it's hitting the right checkboxes? Maybe it's just a fluke. Could be training. We'll keep you apprised, but uh, interesting to experience. Some of the food getting ready for the pirate buffet coming up. So excited. Oh my gosh, would you look at these fruits right here? That's, do you see this? There you go. He's almost scary. Time is now 9.40. There are already people here waiting for those fireworks. A few good spots still available. Just about 20 minutes now until the show begins. You can see a lot of spots are filled, especially around deck 12. But down there on deck 11, plenty of open space. So even if you arrive a little bit late, you'll still be able to see the show. Five minutes before showtime, and you can see the difference right here. Look how much that deck 11 deck has filled up. Deck 12 also filling up around us. Everybody very excited for this show. Now, this is different because right there, all the way on the stage, you can see a helm right up there. I've never seen one like that before for this show, so it's going to be really good. Just learned that fireworks are actually going to be shot off this side, so it's going to be the perfect view. Tonight, you be traveling in mysterious waters. Waters once owned by tales of plenty. Make it go to bed. Super cool, some of the best fireworks that I've seen at sea. Very impressed. As much as I enjoyed the fireworks, the pre-show was good, but I miss Mickey. I miss seeing him there. It was fun, sing along with Jack, and it was great joining his crew, but I miss Mickey for the uh, intro to the fireworks. Pirate has taken over. Time for some food. Okay, made it back inside. Gonna go for that pirate buffet right now. Dave and I are both pretty tired at this point, so we're probably gonna grab a few things to eat and then bring them down to the room. Enjoy them there, maybe watch a movie. You're ready for bed and uh, go to sleep shortly thereafter. Wow, what <laughs> what an adventure that was! After the pirate fire fireworks, we came right down to Cabanas to get that pirate meal. And you can see we've got plenty of food here. But the issue is, it's it's like madness. It's madness. There's so many people here trying to get just one side of the buffet that's open. It's it's just it's it's unbelievable. So I'm hoping that in the future Disney opens both sides of Cabanas for the buffet, especially if they know it's this popular. But we were able to try the let's see, we have the turkey leg there. We've got taco, which we've got to fill with other things. We've got lots of different desserts. I've already forgotten the names of all of them, but they all look delicious. Uh, some wraps, some other desserts, and you can see a tray here of like other things for the tacos. So you got bacon bits, sour cream, guacamole. The reason why they're kind of separated is because the line for the taco comes 
after the guac and sour cream. So you actually have to fill up a plate full of sour cream, guac and cheese and onion, everything else that you would want on the taco before you get the taco. And that I don't think was thought through quite well enough, but we got everything that uh, we wanted. We're gonna give it all a try. Taco is filled to the brim with all sorts of deliciousness. Let's give it a try. Taco's pretty good. Filled it with the sour cream, guacamole, onion, bacon bits, cheese, salsa. It turned out delicious. Now going to try the chicken wrap from Pirate Night. Needs a little guac or sour cream on top. Just like this. That'd be perfect. Very good wrap. Yum. Take a look at the size of that turkey leg. That is relatively large. Let's give it a try. It's not a Disney World turkey leg. So, yeah, it's, it's good. It's really good. But it's not a Disney World turkey leg. So, there's kind of a line there where it's not able to cross over, but so pretty good. Okay, now on to dessert. Let's take a look at the pistachio cake right there. Looks delicious. Let's give it a try. That is one of the strangest cakes I've had in a long time. It's a sweetness with the pistachio. Really strange. I'm not sure I can recommend it, but it might be worth a try. Hmm. Next up, we have a pecan caramel drizzle cake item right there looks extremely good let's try it it's okay not great not great but okay next up i believe this is a peanut butter cake i'm not 100 percent sure it's totally losing track because it's just really really fast but i will let you know how it is it's a pumpkin pie cake that's not bad i like pumpkin pie a lot so this one is really good vanilla on top ish not bad. Raspberry and vanilla panna cotta here from Pirate Night. Let's try this dessert. Nice raspberry flavor. Vanilla flavors in there too. With the jam in the middle. Delicious. Probably my favorite so far out of the ones I've tried with the pumpkin pie in a close second. Next up is a chocolate, I'm going to call it a chocolate fluff. It looks really good. I, I can't remember what it is. It's probably like a chocolate bun. Let's try it. If you like chocolate and a kind of a spongy eclair type cake, not eclair, but spongy cake with the really good chocolate. The chocolate filling is the best part of this. I would just eat the chocolate filling separately. It's like a, it's like a really rich ganache. Mm. Oh yeah. Best dessert out of every, any of the ones I've had is eating the center chocolate ganache out of the center here. This puff, it's really good. Last up, we have the Create Your Own Crepe Station. I kind of just threw some things on there, including a pineapple crepe for David, not for me. This is a mango one and a pear one with chocolate and white chocolate flakes. I'm so tired, but I'm so glad we have the opportunity to try the uh, Pirate Late Night Dining. I really did enjoy those crepes. My opinion, that is one of the best parts of the Late Night Pirate Dining, along with this um, chocolate ganache fluff right there. That is super good. I would come again for those two items. Most of the um, the protein items, even the tacos, were, were good, but not like, oh my gosh, gotta get them again. The crepes and this small pastry item was the best in my opinion. Dave, what did you think? The desserts were definitely the highlights. I like the nachos as well. The chips for that one were, were quite good. After great late night dining, Dave and I are just about ready to pass out at the table, so we are going to get back to the room right now. Go to sleep for another magical day tomorrow. Just like that, Pirate Night is not only finished for us, but it's finished for everyone. They're packed up. It lasted for, I think, an hour or maybe 45 minutes. It was unbelievably short. It is so short and extremely popular. If you're interested in uh, Pirate Night dinner, late night dining, get here as soon as it opens. Time is now 11.37 at night. It's, we, we're gonna be sleeping in tomorrow, quite a bit quite a bit, as long as possible. There will be no alarm set. So we'll wake up whenever we wake up and have an extremely fun day tomorrow. It's actually Halloween tomorrow. So we have to be up late tomorrow experiencing all the Halloween fun. So it's gonna be like 9 a.m. wake up tomorrow. That's, that's how late. We'll see if it actually happens, but that's what I'm imagining. When we were there at the uh, late night pirate dining, it was full of people. Now I'm walking around the ship and we're totally alone because it's basically midnight. Oh gosh. Dave, if you could change one thing about today, what would you change? Hmm. Only one thing? Only one thing. I would make it a longer day. Oh, you would. I would. <laughs> I mean, I would add more hours to the day. 
so that we could get more sleep and still do just as much. Okay, but you had fun? I had a great time. Okay. You? Yes, I did. I enjoyed it all. I think what I would change is uh, how much sleep we got in advance. I'd want even more sleep so we can stay up even later, take some late night photos in the atrium with no one there. Yeah. But I'm just too tired at the moment. And there is our octopus creature right there with those two golden coins on the bed to end the night. Wow. Thank you so much for sharing in the magic with us today. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. David and I are both unbelievably tired, so we're going to fall asleep right here. The, until next time, have an absolutely magical night. See you tomorrow.